All right, let's do the volume of a cone. Again, volume, one of two formulas. Volume equals area of the base times the height, or area of the base times the height divided by three. Divided by three is for pointy things. Cone is a pointy thing. It comes to one point. It has one base. That's how we determine which formula we're going to use. So, uh, base, area of the base. Well, the base is a circle, so pi r squared. We're going to multiply that by the height. Again, the height is a perpendicular distance, perpendicular from the base to either another base, if we were a cylinder, or to a peak to the top. So, in this case, and then we divide by 3 because it's pointy. So, pi r squared, r is 3. Height is given to us, height's 11. Wow, it's pretty simple. And divide by 3. So, pi times 3 squared times 11, divide by 3. Pi times 3, 11, divide by 3. I do it right. 9 pi 27. Well, let's see. I, don't, I might have messed it up. Pi times 3 twice. Divide by 3 times 11. 103, 103.67. Let's see. R is centimeters. So the R squared is going to get you centimeters squared. And then there's another centimeter with the H. That's centimeters cubed. The most difficult part about doing volume here is what if they didn't give you the height and they gave you the slant height? Well, you'd have to do Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So this is a completely different triangle now. Hey, let's do it the easy way. Now we'll, do, we'll stick with the hard way. All right, so we'd have 3 squared plus b squared equals 12 squared. Because, again, slant height. And you have to be able to solve that to find the height. So that's 144, 9, b squared equals 144 minus 9, which is, what, 135? And then you have to you know, find the square root of 135. 135 square root. Oh, too many times. 135. No, not 235. 135 square root. 11.62. So in this new triangle, in this new green triangle cone with a slant height of 12, the, uh, height, the height of the shape would have been 11.62. So, you know, some things are easier for surface area, some things are easier for volume. Now, they can't, you can't randomly pick three numbers. For your, for your cone. If you pick 3 and 11, you have automatically set in place how big that is because of Pythagorean theorem. So you got to be careful when you are designing things. Some dimensions depend on others, especially when we got uh, right triangles involved. So again, volume, area of the base. Our base is a circle. Times the height of the shape, they told us. It was 11.